welcome to Classic Classes. Uh, today I'm delighted that uh, we have Michelle Wiles. I met Michelle three years ago when she was in New York uh, to do a, a competition, which was, what was uh, that? It was called Dance Masters of America. And what did you do there? And um, I did a lyrical dance, and I won Team Miss Dance of America. Great. Well, as you're going to find out, um, and Michelle is quite an unforgettable dancer, and she's 16, and she has been most recently to Varna, she's been to Japan, she's been to Russia, Korea, London, uh, as well as doing the competitions. Well, well, let's see, what happened in Varna? I won the gold medal for the junior division. Great, congratulations. And um, how was that? Oh, it was What amazing. did you have to do? Oh, well, we had to do six classical variations and two modern works. Mm -hmm. And for the first round, we did two classicals. For the second round, we did two classical and one modern. And for the third round, we did two classical and one modern. And that's a lot of dancing, a lot of rehearsing, a lot of preparation. And, we, and in Japan, what did you do in these other countries? How, what what uh, took you there? What took you to Russia? Well, Mr. Oleg Vinogradov, he was doing a TV show, and he wanted two of his best dancers from America to come there and to perform in his video. So. Okay. And in Japan, let's see, in Japan, you won an award also? I, was, I won the bronze medal. Okay. So that's a lot of traveling and a lot of strange circumstances. I mean, it must make you nervous or uh, doesn't it? Or, oh, it does sometimes but you just have to learn how to put it out of your mind and you have to concentrate on what you have to do because that's more important. Well, as you'll see in this video, Ms. Michelle knows how to concentrate because she has a wonderful uh, turning ability which requires great concentration and focus. And um, what do you think going back to your, your experiences in competitions uh, which can be quite different from the world of classical ballet, uh, quite a different atmosphere, um, but obviously that has added something to your dancing ability, don't you think? Um, I think it's um, added um, me to, it's helped me to um, get through tough circumstances and like with slippery floors and uh -huh. being outside and I just think it's made me a better dancer all around. Because mm -hmm. a lot of ballet dancers, you know, can be divas. And they can be very fussy and very persnickety, and I won't dance here, and I won't dance there, and, I, and they blame the floor, and they blame the lighting. But you get over that fast. You have to get over <laughs> that's it. That's <laughs> right. Well, that's why you're, you're where you are, and that's why you won the gold medal. So we're going to have a lot of fun in this class today. We're going to do a lot of turning combinations, and I'm so glad that Michelle can do this. Exercise one, relax and stretch facing the bar. Okay, let's relax and stretch, just easy, over to the side, open up your ribs, easy legs. And then after that, just let the plie go, and all the way, you can just do it all wrong. You can sit out, drop to your hips, and just loosen up, do it again, side, side, and down. Then in first, let's go around, all the way around, open your eyes, and both sides, easy to stretch. And then once more again, just all the way down, drop through it, and just, relax. just do whatever you feel like doing, stretch it out. Reach. Easy arm, feel your fingers loose, loose shoulders. And all the way down, relax. And you want to always make sure you loosen up the hips and stretch, and it's easy to turn out PA. And again, reach. you can. Relax. Good. And in first, a big circle. Relax. And just feel your whole body. And all the way down. Easy. Good. It's always important to stretch through the hips before you start class. Make sure you're ready to turn out. You want to loosen up. And relax. Good. And then just feel your balance. And first, just arms down and rest. 
Exercise two, plies. Right, let's do plies now. And uh, I'm still using these plies, and I, you know, I never change an exercise till I can find something better to replace it with. And uh, I think that these work best of all. So we start, we do one and two. And so you get the correct rotation from square hips. And then with that, you demi plie and feel your toes working. And always think strong legs, you're going to jump your demi plie. And then you do a grand plie, and then you eleve. And in second, repeat the plies, two demi plie with a port de bras and grand plie. And uh, I like you to roll up. I want you to round your back and stretch through your neck and slowly. You can keep your leg muscles relaxed when they're straight. Okay? Then in fourth, let's do demi plies twice and a ton du back. Oh, we don't do grand plie in fourth. Okay? And in fifth, do all the plies once more. And uh, with the porter bar, we're going to bring your arm forward here. Then open this plie. And I want you to make sure you really have your legs stretched straight and crossed and, of course, turned out. And you're going to balance here and stay here. And then just open up. Open up to the lights. Feel like you're, you're feeling the sun on your face and your chest. And recover that. Rest. And then we'll do the other side. We'll stop. Okay? So feel your balance here. And feel your up off your heels. Way up. Stretch up to your neck. Porte bra. And right leg. Good. Keep this strong, here. nice smooth demi plie. Good, good. You just want to keep it flowing, just like the music, like water. Good. Take a breath. And keep the chest good. And easy shoulder. Good. And elevate. Way over the toes. Good. That's it. Always open. Feel your toes, breathe out. Good. And you're always on balance. You're always on your legs. Breathe. Good. 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 And now you can relax your leg muscles. Big stretch. And just pull, let the head go all the way in. And around your back. That's it. And place your arm and breathe. Use your whole body, right? Four. And good. And always strong legs through. And get on the back. And stretch. Yeah. That's it. And up the neck. Get the roll up here. Fifth. And work. And make sure you feel the heel down. Like you can do a jump. You're going to show and show. center out. Just be careful that you don't let this go. Good. And take a breath. Good. That's it. Nice and smooth. And open. And on the toes. Just be careful. Be very careful here. Good. And work. Good. So always you think of demi plies as jumping, you want to be able to jump, and you're still on balance, steady, open, and open the shoulder, long arm, 
is drop the head and stretch. Long neck. Shoulders back and hips forward and open and all inside out. And you try to breathe out. Empty it on the back. All up. And fifth, and feel the heels as though you're going to do a changement. Good. Breathe out. Here, try not to lift the ribs too much. Easy, that's it. And so you just feel easy to stand. Size three, Bat Matondu in first position, facing the bar. All right, let's do Bat Matondu facing the bar, and now we're going to start to uh, stand on one leg, which we need to do to dance. So you can do one and one and one, two, three, and again and one. And while you're doing that, make sure you feel that you're really placed. I want you to you can use the mirror and see that you don't that you don't shift at all, right? Don't go with it. You know, the tail does not wag the dog, right? Stay on your supporting side. So you do three sets and a demi-plie, then move over. And I really want to see, I want you to feel the difference, too, that you really are standing on the right with the hip, with the shoulder, up the neck, okay, straight up here, and that there's never any weight there on that foot. That's the most important. And that you can do all of this without any, any wiggling in here, okay? So look for that yourself in the mirror. And then demi-plie, and then repeat it, okay? And you already feel your balance. Now think, stand on your left. And good. And up. 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 Good. And I would even open the arms up. Good. That's it. See, that supporting side. Nice and quiet. Good. Because all the dancing is one leg. Now, please stretch. Good. Now you're on the right. Good. Now watch this side. That it's quiet. Good. That's it. Far away. Good. 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 Long. Good. Good. And always energy going up the neck. Ears up high. Shoulders down. Good. It's much better. Plie. And once more. Now you're on this side. So we're always dancing. Either you're on your left or you're on your right. And the more advanced you get, you're always on one leg. That's it. So see that side doesn't move. Good. And this foot never wiggles when you're standing on it. All right. So that supporting foot is always placed. So the weight goes straight down. Good. So this never wiggles. Ankle never wiggles. That's it. Is you really on your leg? Good. Right. Good. Yeah. Down, just so you feel your balance. Easy, easy. Yeah. Okay, good. Relax. Good. Exercise four. Bat maton do in first position with stretches. Okay, now let's do bat maton do with a with a stretch as well. So you do one and a two and three point and take it off. And tomie, big arm, step back. And up. So it's quiet. You have time. It's a slow tango. Yeah. And stretch. We want to follow the hand. Use your eyes. Work the head. And stretch down. And stay here. Rested. Stretch back. Open. And then I like to put the heel. Let's stretch through the leg a little bit more. Turn it out. Tendu. Reach. And then the other side. And repeat. Okay? And port de bras, 
brush. One, two, and stay there. Reach, good. Eight, and look. That's it. Good. So you already feel like you're dancing and move and eat. and open, reach, and all the good. Everything as far as you can. And back, good. up, and front, and turn it out, heel, and reach, good, and stretch, and turn. Fingers far away from your chest, far away from your eyes. Good. And lay up your neck. And round. Good. And open more. Big. And you want to keep the shoulders relaxed. Long. Good. And all the way out. As far as you can go. Everything long. And look out. Let's practice breathing out. Lots of exhaling. That's it. And even when you do an exercise like this, you can think you're on the stage, there are people out there, so everything you're doing, the energy goes all the way out. Important that we do lots of body stretches like this, lengthening the spine, your neck, the arms, fingers. Once more, and breathe, and breathe, and breathe. That's it. And always rolling to the foot. So by the time you finish this, you've really worked all the way through your toes. Your whole body through your fingers. And, and of course, the stomach stays in. All the way out. And finish. And just always, you feel your balance. Easy. Yeah, that was nice, Michelle. Good. Good, relax. It's five, Bat Martondu in fifth position with stretches and balance. All right, let's work from fifth now, Michelle. Just working slowly again. You start one and Tondu front. And let's cross it over so you really stretch the muscles. And then reach for it and a little on the jambe here. And then demi plie and stretch out and reach. And the arm will go with the leg. And let's follow that. And plie again, and make sure we're keeping that shoulder and that hip. And of course, this foot never wiggles, right? You're always on that. And brush it and stretch it out and up. And after that, let's do that's my favorite stretch here the head roll for the neck. Just isolate it. Try not to move the shoulder or the legs. But let's do your neck all the way around. Then after that, in the first placement now here, stretch it, flex it so you can really feel it. And then put the heel right into the ankle bone. It's very important that you connect it and push it, and it'll make you feel your muscles in your hips and your turnout. And just keep working this over so you're way over on the toe, right? I don't have to tell you that, though. And straight up here and up your neck. If you have this straight line, it's just a nice, quiet balance. And then we'll go on, okay? Plie, on the front, plie, and side, good, and brush, up. good, and just make sure you're thinking about staying on the left, good, e, and way out there, e, and way out there, good, brush, up, plie, and demi plie your head, and let's stay in the plie, Legs. You can relax the leg muscles actually. And we're going to flex it and the right heel into the left ankle. Good. Really push it. Good. Really get over the toe. Next. And round. 
so we can exhale all of this. Breathe out as you open. Let it out. Reach. Look. And then you're always on the right foot. And then reach. Everything is far away. Relaxing your lower back too. So think that's it. Just drop the tail. Now up through your head. Right shoulder, right hip. And push all the way over the toe. Once more. And smoothly. Yeah. See if we can keep those demi plies moving. We don't want the plie to stop. It's like a circle. Especially the plie. It never hits the bottom. Stretch. Good. And your, everything gets bigger and bigger. Far away. Good. And good. Relax the lower back. Let the plie stretch. Now the hips come forward. Shoulders stay relaxed. And all the way up to your ears. That's it. Long neck. Easy balance. Good. And round arm. And smoothly. That's it. Just follow the head. And reach. And this also. Everything we're doing is dancing. Everything keeps moving. It never stops. standing on your bones. Let the weight go through your bones. Try to be as relaxed as you can. And up through the head. And just let the weight go down. That's the idea. Good. Yeah. Relax. By six, bat ma tendu, dégagé, in fifth position, with balance. Now let's do a combination of tondu and dégagé. You do one and two and three and four and in, in, in. Plie, slide the heel out. Plie, tondu and stretch it out. And one and two. Plie and up and one. This, is, this one is slightly different. Three and four, just in and in and in and in. Do one more here. And now let's take a balance, coup de pied. I'm going to wrap your foot around your ankle. Still the same here, up here, and then the next, again, again. Okay?
can come down now, Michelle. That's good. We should have such problems. <laughs> Exercise seven, working the foot and stretching the body. Okay, now let's work the feet and we'll do lots of stretching and it's kind of like your free time. So I'll give you the structure and then you can kind of fiddle around as you want to. So you start to push one and slow and then quick, as many as you can do, but be sure you work and, and push the foot like you're jumping. Then pas de cheval, one and one and then as many as you can, quick, 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 quick. Yeah. Then dégage, simple. And then while you're doing that, of course, make sure you're really placed here, then fast, 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 go on. And then we finish this on the floor like this and put your hands down and just let go. And if you want to lean over or sit down or whatever you can and just relax from here, turn up, of course. Then turn in so that we stretch the hip this way now because you want me to get this forward. Hmm? And uh, look away and just let it out. And then you do that side, the feet. Then come back and now the second half you start from fifth with passe here, then form to turn in, and again, all of this very relaxed. Hmm? And then pick up the leg, take it in the air, and then uh, uh, turn in, look down at the floor, let the hips go back, then the hips come forward, and then back, get all the way that way. Hmm? Then from here, in the promenade this, to arabesque, and uh, do your arabesque planche, straight out, split it. Then all the way down, upside down your head, look at the lights this way, from the attitude, flex it, then bring yourself up. You can take a little balance here. Then stand on this foot and bring this leg up as high as you can so you isolate in the hip. Keep the hip square okay, and flex it. And then from there, either uh, you know, with or without the bar, open like that. Let it go, okay? Right. This is first. And push.
head, way up, up to your ears, round, and change, easy, easy. That's it, good, nice balance. Good, they stretched out. <laughs> Exercise eight, rond de jambe, on the floor, in the air, with stretches. Okay, let's do rond de jambe now. You do one, and two, and three, point front, plie, passe, plie, and side, and one, and two, take it back, and I want you to really stretch, try to touch your toe if you can, that, you know, make a circle, like that, you see your foot? And then the arabis go straight out and point. Big. Then back four, close the fifth, plie, open the leg, and try to make circles here. One circles and really push it straight. And then all the way around. And you can um, bend over, look this way, really round your back, contract it, and then straight out two legs, open, and go on. And then the next time after we do relevés, okay? <laughs> good, good. Okay. Exercise nine. Batma dégagé and petit batma. Okay, so after the Rona Jam where we've been opening and the leg going up in the air, I think now we need to get tighter again, tighten up here. So let's do and one and two and one and two. Plié, plié, and straight. And quick and quick, as quick as you can, and then stop. Plié, yeah. And quick and quick and quick and quick. Plié, then change. Then this one, the, the toe is going to come up the leg. Okay? Then you turn to back and next. So as much as you can, quick, quick stop. You know, get the muscles working in here now. Da, da. Right. Okay. And ti, 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 ti. Plié, good. Back. Da, da. That's really need a strong neck. Strong stomach. Ti, 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 Good. Really 
Push over so the ankle doesn't wiggle. Yeah, good. Gotta use the hip. Ta ta, good. Ta ta, good. E up, e to, e e e e up. Ta ta, good. Strong ankles on that supporting foot. The hip. That's the neck. E good. Ta ta, ta ta, good. Good workout. <laughs> Good. Exercise 10. Batma fondue and frappe. Okay, after that quick workout of close, 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 then now let's do one leg and, and open. Something a bit softer, a little bit more stretch, stretchy. So fondue, you do one and a two and slow. Quick, quick, quick. Change one and a two and so quick 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 and that has to go out right accent different accents one and a two one and a two then let's do doubles double 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 four doubles and then see if you do that next and then the next time releve it okay nice round on coupe fondue toe and easy one, one, two, three, stay. And one. And this one here. And one, one, two, three. Good. E, e. And one, one, two, three. Now double. Da, 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 da. And lay up. And big arm. And this can go on the floor, Michelle. Right there. And stretch, push, push, push. Yeah, so it's a different texture. Huh? More stretchy and yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Good. And you feel like different muscles are working. It's a different quality, huh? T, 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 ta, 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 ta. Good. And relevant. And we have to think a little bit higher to get to the toe. Yeah. And E. And nothing more. On the supporting side. Right. And all the way out there. Lead up. E. Good. And strong ankle to stand. E. And all the way up the neck. Good. E. And E. Good. And breathe out and use the plie. And now you're on balance. E. 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 Good. Each time it gets all the way out to the toes, all the way out the fingers. So everything is going out, energy is going out. E. And then balance. E, 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 yeah, good. And smoothly. That looks good. Exercise 11, Grand Bat Ma. Okay, now let's finish the bar with, of course, Grand Bat Ma. You want to let it out, everything big and high and strong, a little more uh, with the attack also, so it goes quickly up, slowly down, quickly up, and in. Let's allonge. Let's go all the way out, back, 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 see it, and in, and forward, here, get over the toe, here. Here and stretch out, out, careful shoulder down. Then to the side, simple one, two, one, two, and then a big developer as high as you can. Then bring it through fondue, through passe, and let's do attitude front. And then you can bring it here and open next and repeat. Okay. Everything big. front right and roll out and breathe out and it goes all the way back as far as you can go 
I think you're ready for the center now. <laughs> center exercise one, Pada Basque and Ronde de Jean. Right now we're ready to work in the center and I just want you to know that we're going to be shooting in the mirror. So what you see will be the mirror image but you just will do the same. If you see my right arm then it'll be your right arm. When you see the left arm it's your left arm. And this is what you'd be used to seeing in a classroom anyway. Right, so the first exercise we're going to do will be a rond de jambe with Parabas. Do one and brush through, rond de jambe three and four. Bottom off front with the plie. Tombe stretch the arabesque. Coupe, walk, walk, and walk on the toe. Up and we reverse. One and two. And let's think of circles circle arms, circle legs. And all this here and just simple arms and always on the toe, hip on the toe, and plie. All right, so Michelle, then you go right, left, right, do it four times, okay? Nice and easy. Round on. Good, feel the hip, and stretch, reach, good, and round. And that energy is going all the way out, long and way back there. Good. Again. Breathe. And you feel that one side of your body against the other. Michelle, for instance, just now, after you did, um, here, uh, we're going this way, you did the Rouen de Jean, and as you bring this, this border bra, I would like to just see a little bit more weight, in, say you're in second now, you just did the Rouen de Jean, okay, uh, front, uh, sorry, here, you're, you're this, and then you're going to bottom it through, and then when you bring this on, just try to keep this back, yeah, push me a little bit with your elbow, that, yeah, so that it's going gonna, it's gonna to come through, but so it doesn't get too small, you know, that, that you feel, like, yeah, like the strength of your arm. Then also, as you do your arabesque and you reach out, try to really keep the, the neck nice and long here, too. Yeah, that's it, right. So it doesn't at all drop back, right? Nice, long neck. Good. Let's do it again. Big arm, that's it, good. Nice neck, yeah, good. And the hips always forward, and the shoulders always back. Big arm, long neck, yeah. And the knee just keeps flowing. And 
big arm, long. And you can breathe out. Yeah. Long. Long. And you're on balance. That's nice. Good. Yeah, I like that. It's better. Good. Okay. Center exercise two. Adagio. All right, now we'll do an adagio, and everything will be turning. So you start with the PA attitude, one, and this is second, this corner, two, this is three, and it changes to arabesque, four, PA step back, and the arms change, arabesque, and you're turning, and your arms keep changing, and you finish here. Then I want you to walk, walk, walk to fifth, and a little devil play, step out here, take your time, prepare this, and plie for your pirouette, to fourth, and then a big port de bras, stretch it out, and then let's reverse it. So I want you to contract, I want you to round the back, yeah, that's it, so that you really open up now. And here's this corner, and this corner, and that corner. Step back, you can look down here, and now that corner. So we're working corner, 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 right? And all the way out there, and walk, Walk to here and stretch it out. Take your time and keep your wet. And once again, finish with this and close it. And wet. Okay. Good. before we do it again, okay, is good, this is good. I want you to think that once you start, you just, your leg just keeps turning and something is happening here, here, and now this is already becoming the arabesque, okay? And you get all the way out there, now you're gonna, and you can look down, the head can go down, and now, and now you, I want you to try to keep turning, or don't stop, and your arms to keep moving. So something is changing, something is happening all the time, okay? Then reach for this, good, 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 yeah, nice pirouette, good, here, and, after that, then once again, when, when, you, when you start from here, if you're going to be turning to the left, and I think we really need to think you're reaching to the right, you know, it's always that opposition, and that's what keeps you nice and, and open. Hmm? So I feel the right side, the right side, the right side. So something is always opposite. Hmm? Whichever way I'm going to be turning, I have to think, if I'm going right now, I have to be feeling left, see? And also this part of beret, head here. Then just on this side, maybe a little bit more with the right, and yeah and way up there, you know, that neck has to be so stretched up and straight, then you can do it, okay? Good. Let's try it again. That just keeps flowing. Center exercise three, on down turns. Let's work on on down pirouettes. 
starting from here, a nice pas de bourre, step out, and let's see this plie, step back, turn it into fourth, and simple, on les dames, and look here, see this, détourné, finish here, open the leg again, step out, it's the same, pas de bourre, to here, and then let's do à la seconde, and again the same plie, and the détourné, once more, step out, here, pas de bourre, and this time we're going to do attitude turn, and you're going to come through to fourth arabesque, and pas de bourre, turn, and then the next time, let's do turn in second, plié attitude turn, plié en les dents turn, you do one of each. And again here, then just finish it off with some quick chenet. Depending on, you know, how many turns you do, it's up to you. Take your time. Okay, but let's see this. You see this. And then we want to see this plié. And we want to see this plié. And we want to see this pose. As well as the turns. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about it? <laughs> yeah. This is all, this is very nice and soft. I like this. Good. And here. After um, the, um, when you're going to do the last time, because you have to keep repeating that, you know, maybe give yourself a little bit more wind up. A little, I think so. You need a little bit more force to start. A little bit more, I would think, get back there to that and let it go. And then once you start, this right side is going to just keep turning. Just keep turning those plies. Right. Okay. Let's try it again. Center exercise four, renversé en dehors, arabesque turn, en dedans. Let's do one of my favorites. I love arabesque turns. Okay, so let's go from here. So you do and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and an easy one step over, and pas de bourre, and just float one, and float one. And after that, you step over pirouettes, and then pose it. So just take your time on the, on the arabesque turns. Just nice and big. Open it up. Ready? See, Michelle, after, this is, this is good. Can you see yourself there? I want to see you way over there. Yeah. And then we can see that. Good. And let's cross way over here, way over here, and to here. And then give this a nice stretch. Right. And as soon as you pose this, you can start already. Give yourself a nice big one. Easy. And then quick on the step over, and quick on the pottery. Then again, just nice and easy. But take your time. And again, the... We want to think always that for the arabesque, the attitude that the head is on the back shoulder. So you get a nice high leg too. Yeah, 
right, very strong. I think I'm going to be good. <laughs> Let's do it because everybody has trouble with these. And I just want you to show from here. Michelle, also, let, let's try doing where, where you just, just try to keep your arm shoulder level uh, when you turn. Yeah, don't take it up too high. Just, that's it. Right. Yeah. Um, also, let's see, you're starting from here, right? So then, again, always the plie, you know, if we looked at it slowly, we'd still see that the plie is turning. Plie still still turns, it still opens up. Plie go, that's yeah. Then you have more than enough, right? Yeah. Then you can just stretch it out. Um, let's see. Where where are you going to look? Let's see. Are we going to take the diagonal then when you? Okay. So let's let's spot the corner there for the arabesque. Okay. Let's do it once more. Let's do it once more. With the focus and the alignment and the balance. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Relax. <laughs> Exercise five. On des dents, on des or pirouettes with changement. Right now, let's combine on des dents and on des or pirouettes with changements, also turning. So everything's going to get a little bit quicker as well. So you're going to do plie and turn on des dents, and you're going to travel forward, plie on des or. Travel forward, plie, on the down. Travel forward, plie, on the or. And from there, quickly, pas de to here. And then you turn three changements. Make your own little circle. Finish croise. Again, quickly. And chasse, travel this here, plie, and turn. Turn the jumps here. Tendu, and preparation. On the or pirouette. And from there, just open the leg and take a soutenu and step out. Begin our best. Go. So when you're doing all of these turns, regardless whether you're on the right leg doing ande down or the left leg ande or, because you're turning to the right, then we want to keep the balance of the head to the left, left shoulder. Just keep thinking left, because as we move this way to the right, we want to keep thinking the head so we don't fall down and fall over the foot, right? All of this turning, head is left, and of course the ending is definitely left here. Okay, let's see it. Nice, nice and easy what you're doing, and that's good. I can see, I can see your plies, which is always important. We can always see the plie, right? We can see that. And this is good, this is good, this travel. Um, when you go out here, how far can this right foot go each time when you pot a And right and right, yes. Yeah, you don't know, take a little bit farther. Good. This is okay. And then just um, I would start already, you know, at the, at the end, you know you're going to do your ande or pirouette. So I would really already be bringing that left one back, you know, I want to really feel that I'm ready to go, ready to turn. Give yourself a little bit more of a preparation. was a lot more sure, but I mean, it was a lot sharper. Yes, I like that. Good, good. Exercise six, emboite and fouette turn. Okay, let's do emboites now, but uh, slightly different from the way, you know, usually people always do emboite half and half to the corner. But I think it's better and more exciting if we can think of keeping the body to the front. So we're going to travel the first one simple, and then full turn the next one. 
and travel the, first, the second one in full turn. Now let's do fuerte. Fuerte turn, fuerte turn. And again, repeat. En moi tete. Ti, ti, ti. Now let's add on one en dedans. Change the leg. And then go again. Change the leg again. En dehors. Fuerte again. Fuerte again. Then let's just add two more en moi here. And then quick chin in and pose. Right? So you'll do one and two and three and four and five and six. Yay to here. Open, close, and open, close, and turn to here, and turn to here. Change the leg, and change the leg, and turn again, and turn again, and jump, and jump. And, right, good, you know, good. Keep a sharp focus, right? Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Good, good coverage of space, very clean. Um, can you just make this a little bit, your arms, a little bit, yeah, that, yeah, push out, right, right, to your fingertips, good. This is good, this is good. And um, the pie, if, even though it's quick, but can you just give, give me a little bit more of a juicier pie? Yum. I really like to see the leg go from that corner to that corner, because I think that's the whole purpose of the fuerte turn, is to show how you're able to open your leg and it goes from that corner to that corner. Right. It makes you more turned out, too. Yeah, I, you know, I really like those. Like, it, like the plie is slower and the spot is even quicker. Yeah, slow, quick, slow, quick. Kind of, you know, really stretch it out. Show your power. Yeah, okay. turn, jeté, cabriole, attitude turn. Okay, let's dance more. Let's, let's cover more space and start putting all the elements together. So starting here, you have little ancha trois, pas de bray turn, chassé, and jump your fuerte, sauté arabes, want to see that. Ahí, glissade, jeté, and we're going to report about over here. Turning the pas de bray, we see this pie, turn quickly this pie, and repeat. And back to here, to there, and over here. Parabu ray, parabu ray. Now let's go on. Pique arabes to this corner. Chasse, bring the arms through, right? And corner, cabriole here. Chasse turn, and cabriole here. And a parabu ray. Then tombe, attitude turn. And let's spot the front, open it. Pirouette, and over. And wherever you come up, Shane, depending on how many turns you do, so we'll leave it open. And Shane, and then add a soda basque, just to, to pull it in, and then pose out of that into arabesque. Here, okay? So we have, we're going to think that you're this side. You know, again, we're always dancing from one side or the other. Okay, and the head here, because I'm going to go this way now. I want to feel this stretch. Then I want to think this way so I can go that way. And that way, so I can go this way. You know, again, everything is reversed like that. And I'm always have one shoulder, one ears back. Here, and here, and here. And then we want to see this. And this is going to jump. Let's get in the air on the chasse. Make sure you really get up there. Up here, here, and easy here. So you can place it, see it, see it. Here, and again. Okay, go. Let you start a little bit more upstage 
because I, what I would like to see here, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that stepping out, right, before you go. And do you feel this, that you're really open, open, the arabesque here? Good. And maybe a little bit quicker here. You saw, yeah, right, yeah. I think they were just taking a little bit higher. You know? Yeah, yes, yes, right. Then, then little, little. You know, you want to shade everything so it's not all the same. Good. And after that, good. In here as well. Let the arms stay because you want to now push them out. I mean, you are doing a turn, you know, so that we can see that. But you feel like you're flying back. The carabiole is jumping backwards, right? We're re I mean, you're literally jumping backwards. <laughs> yeah, good. And then this is really nice. Yeah, good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good. Come back. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I like that. Much better. Good. Exercise A, Grand Ronde de Jambes Sauté, En dehors, En dedans, Grand Pirouette à la seconde. Okay, now let's do a Grand Allegro, turning, jumping, everything, okay? So let's start from here. You do part of it on the end, and then you're going to coupe sauté, Grand Ronde de Jambes, keep his legs straight, chassé turn, cabriole with a character arm, chassé, pique arabesque, and Parabure, step, step, and let's jump this a la seconde and open it and pirouette it, then close it. Then after that, bounce it this way, and then a nice pique, stay, 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 and Parabure and tendu. That's the end of the first half, okay? Then from there, you're going to do double a la seconde, en dehors, and plie, pirouette again, and finish it and step out. Then a loose saute arabesque here, and jeté chassé here, turn it, and then into chenet, and then tombe and pick up, turn. So let's go over this again. So we need to see this. You're going to seven and eight, and all at one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and two here, and that. Say here, look at that, and pardon me, that's the end of the first half. You prepare, go into your turn in second, plie, pirouette, <laughs> good. And here, and this will take to the corner, to the corner, and eyes, and here, right. So again, we just want to be sure that if I'm going to turn this way, I want to keep my balance that way. I'm still going that way, so I want to keep that back. There's always still one ear, one shoulder back. Right? So I'm always open, stretched out. Here we need this plie, and we need this plie. Right? You have to know where all those plies are, where everything begins and ends. And as well as for the a la seconde turn here, we need the hip, we need the place. And as long as the shoulder stays, you're on the leg, you're okay. Right? So, oh yeah, let's try it. I would just try to put some things a little differently musically, <laughs> but it's good. I mean, you have more than enough to work, uh, work with. So this looks good, yeah, okay, and now it's reaching out, good here, good here, fine. And you can, you know, you take your time, it's good. Just try to see, uh, see if you can see, can you see that after you jump? See if you can keep the leg a little bit higher, yeah. yeah don't answer, you'll make, you'll make it, you're on your legs. So just, the more you stretch that, then it'll be nice and cleaner here, this is okay. And th yeah, because this is yeah, where we have to get to a little bit sooner because we need to already be doing five, six, seven, and eight. They're already one and to go into the turn. Good. 
Okay, try it again. more I think okay you know what I still want to work on a little bit here is that as you chasse here this is this is a little bit back so when you cabriole it, it, a little bit this way I'd like to see that that left hip get up there yeah this right and the cabriole always the bottom leg is hitting hitting the top one up good because that's much lighter and then what, what do you think from here if if you you pull that back a little bit more and then let this open and then when you plie, yes, we see the leg, but you're turning. You know, don't, don't get stuck on it, I think. Because I'd still like to see that happen too. And then, go ahead. You're okay here? You're okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. Right, once more. Okay. Exercise nine, grand jeté, fouette turns. And now let's finish up with a coda. Let's go faster and put everything all together. Big jumps and lots of turns as well. So starting from the corner here, you chasse on eight, in grand jeté, en chalassé. Big arabesque in the air, chasse, make sure this jumps also. Grand jeté, a simple second arabesque. Chasse, relevate to the corner, attitude, pie, and this glissade with a hop, uh, glissade under, and like make a right angle, then grand jeté that turns, the attitude, okay? here, then as soon as you land, you have a little hop, open the leg, balance, turn, balance this way, then step this way in a big, double up eight seconds, okay, pas de bouée, tendu, and then you go to a series of your fuerte turns, Okay, all the way through to the end. Okay, so let's go over this again. So we're starting from here, and we're going to start jumping right away on the eight, and you're going up there to the corner, and here's this arabesque in the air. Touch the lights. I always think of touching the lights. Look to the lights, and this is a grand ma here. You need to get back here because now you're going to attitude this way, right? And then I want to really get over there to that corner, and reach that way so that when that foot comes under you, boom. You're going to jump and turn that attitude, right? Reaching there. I'm always using corners. Corner to there. And over here. And then I want to see this. Right? You want to see this. Boom. Solid on your leg, right? And part of red. And all of these fuerte turns, again, as much as you can really show me. Show me your plie. Show me how you pass your leg from that corner to the next. You know, really the power, the control. Okay? Let's give it a try. This, this starts off very well, Michelle. I like this. I can really see this. Um, from this chasse into the grand jeté, just keep your head a little bit more back. There's just, you're just a little bit forward there, so it brings you back to him when in the air. If you can just keep, the, again, you know, you're just going to, you're going to touch the lights with your toe, so you're looking up there. 
Um, after, after you land that, quickly, another chasse, yeah, another chasse. Then releve, and as soon as you releve, you, you can hop this back. So, so you releve, and bring it back. For the, so that kicks this off, right. You don't really get stuck at all. Then be careful at, at here, now when you're going to, to releve, that you, you step, but now this, this has to really get here so that that hip is there, so that the leg won't kick. Can you really think of, of pushing, boom, you know, pushing down that standing leg? Yes. You know, so then, see that leg just kind of folds up. Yeah, right, right, good. And then if you can keep yourself a little bit more back, let's see, how can we get you back after you're here, um, from here, then why don't you bring that back? I thought that could bring you upstage. Right, so I want you to keep yourself away from the mirror. Okay, good. Musically, just shake out your, your leg. Um, uh, in the beginning, this, this is right, seven and eight. But because it, it, it's a coda, it's going faster, that you really have no time to stop. Seven and go and go and go and go. and So you see what will help you to do that transition after the grand jeté is to look over there as you chasse, okay? That, that will bring this back here so that now you can get there. Then as soon as you... Because it's exactly your, your counting is you have to do seven and eight and jump and jump and jump and jump and relevant e and e and you see what I mean it doesn't really stop so you have to keep pushing and in order to do that then you need to just keep stretching back um, also can you when, when, when you're turning each time uh, your, your fuetes then just for that moment, if, if you can really feel each time, because especially because you're doing double, double, you're doing so many, that you're really going click, click, you know, you're taking a picture. Not somebody taking a picture of you, but your eyes are taking a picture. You think you can do it again? Yeah? Okay. Last time. Jump, 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 hop, go, e, yeah. That's it. Come back. Back. Now stay there. E. Now easy. Start. Ah. Yes. Good. That's it. Fire in your eyes. Good. Good. All in your eyes. E. Good. Stay with your eyes. E. Good. Good. E. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Problem, Michelle. Thank you. Great class. Great class. Thank you. So in slow motion, let's see how Michelle goes into the turn. And you're going to see she's got her hip over her toe. And now watch where she is. The left arm goes back. And each time as she plies, she's going to reach back with that left arm. And that's helping to keep her shoulder over her toe, because that's where her balance has to be. And you want to watch here. She's a little bit transferring uh, to her right side, so she's starting to travel, as you can see. So you want to always watch that, that left arm, the, all the weight stays in your supporting side, which is the standing leg, and the left side. And you can see that she's got her good focus, she's using her eyes, and you can see that she's got that plie working. And here's her last one, she's got the shoulder, there, good. Then on this, on the down turn, you're going to watch again that she's going to swing back, you see the arm, now you can see the back arm, she swings to start, it always starts opposite. And the head's on the left shoulder. She's got a nice upward stretch to her neck and her chest, which is always good. And watch again as she goes into this turn. She's going to swing back her left arm. You can see it. See the opposite swing. All turns begin from the other direction. Everything is opposite in the PA. You can see she's all stretched out through her arms, which you want. And there's that PA again and her eyes. Her focus, even though she loses the balance a bit, but still she keeps it because of her eyes. You see the reaching out with her arms. Always eyes focused.
and the balance. Good. Well, thank you, Michelle. That was so much fun working with you and watching you dance. Thank you. Yeah, it's better fun. than going to the ballet, you know? <laughs> Let me say, how long have you been dancing now? I've been dancing since I was two and a half years old. And I thought I started. I started when I was six. <laughs> but I think the main thing I can tell you is you love dancing, don't you? Very much so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, besides the fact that you, you, how many hours do you rehearse? Around five hours a day. Okay. Well, obviously, you can see that with all of Michelle's ability, uh, besides her, her natural ability and her, her love of dance, but also there's a dedication. I mean, yes. you have to really want to do this, don't practice, you? Practice, practice, practice <laughs> every day. Right, as they say, you know, what's the fastest way to Carnegie Hall, right? Practice, practice, That's practice. Right. <laughs> but as you can see uh, with Michelle, who's uh, 16, it just, uh, it all adds up though, doesn't it? Sure does. So I congratulate you and I expect to hear great things from you. Thank you.